Today we are talking about pylon insulators. Have you ever been sad enough to look up at a 400 kilovolt pylon and think, I wish I knew more about those insulators? Well, they're 14 inches in diameter, weigh 12.5 kilograms, and can take a load of 19 kilonewtons. That's roughly 19 metric tons. They are of a pin and cap design, the pin being held in the cap with a special cement. Glass forms a layer between the pin and the cap. The outer layer is called the shed. The pin of the upper insulator is slotted into the cap of the lower insulator. It is held in with a recess. As a failsafe, thank you hand, a clip is inserted. Sometimes the shed element will fail due to unusually high loadings or the ingress of water which turns to ice. The string can never fail due to the cap and pin design. On a 400 kV line you'll see strings of 21 of these and they're used in suspension or tension. 400 kV can jump a gap of around 40 cm. However, the string needs to be over 12 feet long. This is because during periods of high humidity, airborne pollution on the surface of the glass can become conductive. Here we can see how the insulator is affected by saltwater spray. This may occur if the pylon is situated near the coast. A spark gap is needed to protect the grid during overload situations like lightning strikes. The gap is small enough for the overload to jump, but too large for the line voltage. Wind can create damaging vibrations in the conductor. To reduce this, a device known as a Stockbridge damper is fitted. It consists of a short length of cable with a mass at each end. In this case, it's steel. If you like this kind of crap, look out for our videos on insulator arc overs. And remember to subscribe to our channel. See ya. Bye.